Hi, I'm Nick Morrow with CJSElectric7.com. Today I want to show you how to install a light in the kitchen. The things you're going to need are a four foot fluorescent light, four tubes that go with it, we're going to need some wire nuts, a couple toggle bolts, and a plastic Romex connector. The tools you're going to need are a voltage tester, a screwdriver, Phillips head preferably, and some wire strippers, and a utility knife. So let's get started. First thing we've done is run a wire from the other light to here. It's a Romex indoor wire. We know that there's no power on it. And we have measured the holes in the fixture with the holes for the mounting. And we need to install some toggle bolts. These are the toggle bolts. They have a wing on them, which when you push up into the, into the drywall, the hole is small enough for the wing to go up. And when it gets free, it opens up and holds the fixture in. Okay, we put one of those on each side, each hole that we've measured out. These are 3 16 inch toggles. Should hold the weight of the light fixture. Okay, next thing we're going to do is put the wire through the plastic Romex connector. The toggle bolt will go up through the hole that we've knocked out. down on it as you can see the wing has opened and it will hold the fixture up same with this side make sure that it is up there tug on it to make sure that the wing has opened completely that should hold the weight of the fixture and we snug it up with our screwdriver Toggle bolts are fairly simple and easy to use. The next step is to strip the wire with our utility knife. Score it down the middle. You make sure to cut the sheathing and any paper in that Romex wire. The bare wire always goes with the green screw, which is the metal casing of the light fixture. This assures a good ground, and if anything comes in contact with the metal casing of the light fixture, it will short circuit the breaker or the fuse and turn it off. Our next step is to pretty much go color to color. We can fold the wires, make them even with the other wires, cut them with our strippers, and then we strip out the wires about a half inch with the proper size holes. In the strippers, the wire strippers here have different gauges of wires for it. I believe this is an 18 or a 16 gauge wire. So we use the proper hole for it where it takes only the coating of the wire out without damaging the wire itself. The feed wire is a 12 wire. It's a much bigger wire. So we use the 12 wire slot for the, on the strippers. Our next step is to use wire nuts color to color, which is white to white. Make sure align, to align the edge of the wire, not necessarily where we stripped it, but the edge of the wire. The wire nut has a screw shell in it that automatically tightens it when you screw it in. And remember always to tug on the wires to make sure there's no loose connections in the wire nut. Repeat with the black wire. These wires here by the edge, we want to make sure to push so no wires get pinched. The ground wire, the fixture has been grounded. There is no other green or grounding wire, so we're in good shape there. This side, the same thing. We have to make sure all these wires are installed in, in a manner that they won't get pinched by our cover. Now our next step is the cover. You can see these slots right here. This slot 
and this slot will hold this fixture. Three of them on each side. I like to put one on this side, squeeze it together and push up and it clips in there fairly simple. Okay, and that's how you put on the cover. The next step is the bulbs. And when you put in these bulbs, you notice that the pins should be in a vertical position. As you put it up, you turn it 90 degrees. Most all fluorescent light bulbs, tubes as they're known as, has a little notch in them right here. That notch, you can tell the bulb is in properly when this notch is facing directly down. So again, one side at a time, slide it straight up turn it you can feel it and hear it click in okay now that we've got the lamps in our next step is to turn the power back on and test the light as you can see it works fine turn them off and put the lens cover on you can see it's u-shaped I like to put one side on first and use it as like a hinge push it up Slide it back over a little bit and it rests back down on the ledge of the fixture itself. I'm Nick Morrow with CJSElectric7.com and that's how you install a kitchen light fixture. If you have any doubt, please contact your local electrician. Thank you.